Hi, I'm Jason Collins, and this video is about the conjunction fallacy. The conjunction fallacy occurs when someone judge, judges the probability of the conjunction of two events to be greater than the probability of one or both events. For example, if we have two outcomes, A and B, the probability of both A and B occurring, that is, the conjunction of A and B, should be less than or equal to each of the individual probabilities. The most famous example of the conjunction fallacy comes from Tversky and Kahneman. They asked students to read the following statement. Linda is 31 years old, single, outspoken, and very bright. She majored in philosophy. As a student, she was deeply concerned with issues of discrimination and social justice, and also participated in anti-nuclear demonstrations. Tversky and Kahneman asked the students to rank the following statement from most to least probable. One, Linda is a teacher in elementary school. Two, Linda works in a bookstore and takes yoga classes. Three, Linda is active in the feminist movement. Four, Linda is a psychiatric social worker. Five, Linda is a member of the League of Women Voters. Six, Linda is a bank teller. Seven, Linda is an insurance salesperson. Eight, Linda is a bank teller and is active in the feminist movement. Note that eight, Linda is a bank teller and is active in the feminist movement is a conjunction of three, Linda is active in the feminist movement, and six, Linda is a bank teller. Tversky and Kahneman found in a sample of students that 88% ranked three, before eight, before six. Six, Linda is a bank teller was rated less probable than eight, Linda is a bank teller and is active in the feminist movement. To understand, why, to understand why this is an error, recall that the probability of the conjunction of two outcomes is as follows. The probability of A and B equals the probability of A given B times the probability of B, which equals the probability of B given A times the probability of A. If the probability of A given B is less than one, and the probability of B given A is less than one, the probability of A given and B must be less than the probability of A or the probability of B. One explanation for why people make this error relates to the representativeness heuristic. Tversky and Kahneman constructed the description of Linda to be representative of a feminist and unrepresentative of a bank teller. If people use the representativeness heuristic to order the statements, they will likely rank eight above six. The Linda problem is one of the most heavily debated experiments in social sciences. For example, Hertwig and Gigerenza argue that people infer non-mathematical meaning to the word probability, taking it to mean plausible or credible. While this is possibly a fair critique of the Linda problem, other illustrations of the conjunction fallacy appear more robust. For example, Diversky and Kahneman created this example involving rolls of a die. Consider a regular six-sided die with four green faces and two red faces. The die will be rolled 20 times, and the sequence of greens, G, and reds, R, will be recorded. You are asked to select one sequence from a set of three, and you will win $25 if the sequence you chose appears on successive rolls of the die. Please check the sequence of greens and reds on which you prefer to bet. One, R, G, R, R, R. Two, G, R, G, R, R, R. And three, G, R, 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 R. 65% of, exper of experimental subjects chose sequence two. It appears more representative of a die with four green faces and two red faces. But note that one is contained within two and is strictly more likely. The fact subjects are betting on the outcome should remove doubt about interpretation.